Well, here I am again. I am sitting out in the truck in front of Starbucks. I just went and got me a delicious Christmas blend coffee. Uh, I want to talk about something today that's that's on my heart. And it occurred due to a angry Facebook post that I got. A lot of people don't get me. I've just come to that realization. A lot of people just don't get me. Okay? I don't intend to come off as overbearing or critical and and maybe I need to read back through some of my posts and read what I write. Maybe I maybe I have too many critical or too many corrective or too many oh the world's going crazy kind of posts and I don't have enough encouraging stuff, enough uplifting stuff, enough things that help and support people. Maybe that's what I need to do. I don't know. But here's what I stand for. First off, I am a conservative, evangelical, charismatic Christian with messianic Jewish leanings. Okay? Uh, I, I, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Okay? I love the Torah. I love the Jewish festivals. Uh, I love pork a little too much, which is why I haven't completely switched over to the messianic life uh, and some of that. I am a powerlifter, strongman, and amateur football player. Okay? I love all things strength, feats of strength, working out, training, hardcore, Rocky Balboa lifting logs up the hill kind of guy. Okay, that's and so I and I write about that stuff. Okay, so it's not me showing off or having self promotion when I write workout. A lot of guys post their workouts or what they did. It's not an attempt to be a to be a schmuck. Okay, uh, my politics, like my Christianity, are conservative. <laughs> I am pro life. I am pro Second Amendment. I am against gun control. I am against abortion in any circumstance. Uh, I know that sounds a little hard, but that's 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 how I believe. I am for traditional marriage. I believe that marriage is between one man and one woman. Now, before you get mad and start calling it hate speech and all that, I have homosexual friends, I have lesbian friends, I have gays on both sides that are friends. They know where I stand. We agree to disagree. Uh, I love them. I've got one gay friend out west. Uh, powerlifter friend of mine, that guy would die for me. That guy, he's been more faithful to me than some of my Christian friends have. He's agnostic. He doesn't believe the way I do. But I'll tell you what, man, he is a real friend. Okay? We don't agree. We just don't agree on, on what the Bible teaches about about uh, sexuality and marriage and, and attractions. That's just the way it is. Uh I'm also very, very into the military HUA. I write about Ranger stuff. I write about airborne stuff. Uh, I have a volunteer uh, paperwork in. I keep volunteer paperwork in with Department of the Army where I can be recalled at any time. I am not just retired. I am what's called retired reserve. Uh, if they need my skill set and they call me up and say, Hey, Watson, we'd like you to go work a job for us for six months in Kandahar. I'll say... Yes, please, and I'll go do it because that's what I like to do. I got reactivated in 08, 09, and I still love serving. So every chance I get, even though I'm 48 years old, I still get back in uniform and get out there and mix it up with the young guys. I love to do that. Uh, if they were to call me today and tell me they had a job that required me to get back in the harness and exit a perfectly good high-performance airplane with a parachute, I'm there. Okay, all things HUA. Uh... I uh, I just love that stuff. But on the other hand, I don't like posers. I don't like stolen valor. I don't like people that wear the uniform that were never in the military. I don't like fraud. I don't like people that run around and pretend to be something they're not. If you weren't a SEAL, don't say you were a SEAL. If you were never a Ranger, don't say you were a Ranger. I was not a Ranger. I love the Ranger Creed and I live by it and I can recite it in 48 seconds. But I was merely a regular paratrooper. I was not a ranger. If I had the chance to serve in a ranger battalion right now, this minute, at 48 years old, I would kill myself whipping myself into shape to go do it. 
okay? I love all things Hua that much. So I write about that stuff. I write about sniper stuff. I write about uh, underwater stuff. I love the seals. I love blowing things up. I got to blow a lot of stuff up in Afghanistan. I Most of it was on a range. My, my, well, actually, all of it was on a range. I got to do demo, and I love it. I love to blow things up. It is awesome. Uh, some of my mentors, some of my friends are EOD people. I drove EOD people around in Afghanistan. That was what I did. I was kind of a chauffeur for EOD people, and they are great. I consider them brothers. Uh, love them. I love my skipper. My boss was a Navy EOD guy who I would lay down in front of a bus for. If he calls and needs my help, I'm going. Okay? So now you understand where I'm coming from. Now I come off maybe as a little overbearing. I make jokes about Duck Dynasty and I got a few people irritated about that. Now I am addicted to Duck Dynasty. I have been deer hunting and it is great. I didn't get one this year, but there's a couple more days after Christmas. Hopefully, I'm going to bag one. But I just needed you to understand, I'm not a mean guy. I just have really strong beliefs, and sometimes my beliefs are taken the wrong way. So, I love you all. I love the people that read my page. I love the Lord. And and I just, you know... That, that, that's me. I'm, I'm a simple, I'm a really simple guy. And if you really get to know me, that's what amazes me is some of the people that are the most critical are the people that really should know me really well and don't. So anyway, uh, God bless. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I hope you had a happy Hanukkah. My friends that do that, uh, don't know much about Kwanzaa. If that's your thing, Hey, peace out. Have a good one.